Hello and welcome back to this Downfall Idealistic Crusade. In this video, I wanted to do a brief book review of the two collections of Norvell Page early Western stories from Western pulp magazines. Uh, these were done by Black Dog Books, and there are two different versions. The current one is the collection entitled Trail of the Snake, which does bring together all of the known Norvell Page written Western pulp stories. Now, Page, of course, is most famous for writing the majority of the iconic spider pulp novels, a reprint example I have here, and his enormously in intensive uh, prose style in those stories is legendary. But he actually started his writing career writing Western stories. And when you read up about Page, you'll see that he was quoted at one point saying that he started writing Western stories because that's what was popular, even though he had nothing, uh, no idea of, of, of anything about Western stories and had never been to the West or, or lived in the West. So it was really out of his wheelhouse. And so this is really an example of seeing a, a writer find their craft, essentially, and it's fascinating in that sense. But they're also fun Western stories meant for the audience who are reading and devouring Western pulp magazines. And of course, being Norville Page, they're filled with action. So you can make the sort of connection in certain ways that this is obviously the same writer as the spider starting out, but in a completely different genre. The other thing to note is that at least two of the stories were not for a Western magazine, they were for a spicy Western magazine. And that, of course, is in reference to the uh, genre pulp magazines that had more of the emphasis on adult themes, particularly sex. That's why they were spicy. But of course, reading these stories now, there's not really anything that that would even compare to just the most basic adult materials of today. Uh, but for a 1930s audience, the intensity factor of some of those themes is uh, much greater. And you can tell that's what the emphasis was for that particular magazine. So when you're reading these stories, it becomes very obvious there's at least two that <laughs> because they came from a spicy Western magazine that uh, sex is much more of an element than it is in the other stories. But all of them still contain a great deal of action. So the stories contained within are Corralled, which is the earliest from 1930. And that's one of the ones added to this new Trail of the Snake collection. And then, of course, we have Hell's Back Trail and Brand of the Cougar, both from Spicy Western Magazine. And then Trail of the Snake and Secret Guns. So you're getting all five of the Western stories Page wrote that are known to exist. And some were written under a pseudonym, so it did have to essentially be figured out that he was the writer of them in this nice, very affordable collection. Now, uh, the artwork is really nicely done. It's a very thin volume because it's just several short pulp stories. And then the rear artwork is is nice and simple. But again, it's it's a nicely done volume. It's a, of course, manufactured on demand paperback, but it's it's just nicely put together. I do have a couple of issues with this, though, in terms of how it does feel a bit more simplistic than actually their earlier paper version. And what I say paper because this isn't actually bound. It's actually stapled. Uh, so this was actually uh, the version I found uh, rather recently in one of my uh, local comic stores. They had a, a stack of these uh, sort of stapled uh, versions of older pulp reprints from like the early to mid-2000s or the late 90s. And so I saw this sticking out, and I knew that Norvell Page supposedly had written some pulp westerns before The Spider, but I didn't know they'd ever been found and reprinted. So, of course, I picked this up, and we have beautiful original pulp artwork on the front for Brand of the Cougar. But on the inside, it's nicely put together, but it just also, in some ways, ironically, feels a little bit fancier than this technically complete version. Uh, and the, the biggest thing is that we do have illustrations in this non-bound earlier version for the three stories. And this does not have any of the illustrations, which I think is really a shame. So basically, if this had the illustrations for the three stories found in here, which are otherwise the same, then this would be definitely the, the best option. But I do miss having the, the uh, not having the images because 
because some come from the spicy Western pulps. Uh, some of the artwork and the illustrations is, again, a bit on the spicier side. And the illustrations are quite good. Also, the text layout is nicely done in this. So I'm, I'm, I'm actually quite surprised. I, I was very pleasantly surprised when I picked this up. But again, you can tell that, that somebody really took the time to try and design this well. And this is from, I think, the year 2000. So it's, it's held up quite well. Here's a, a spicy illustration from the story Hell's Back Trail. And yet another, uh, this one being a double page spread with, of course, it having the requisite spicier elements. And yet another spicy illustration. And then the illustration from Trail of the Snake. Nicely, there's also a bibliography of the page stories known to exist that they could credit to him at this time in here, which runs for several pages. And then, of course, there is the About the Author section, which has a photo of Page included as well. The other difference in this uh, particular older printing is this has an introduction by famous pulp historian and writer Will Murray, who is no stranger to pulp reprints. But, of course, you know when, when you have one of the great historians writing the introduction, it's, of course, extremely detailed. It's, you know, it's about two or three pages long. But that is also not in the new collection. We have a new introduction, which is good, but it doesn't go into the quite the same level of detail, and it's only two pages long. So essentially, you get all of the stories here, but without the nice couple of illustrations from this older volume and you also don't get the uh, will murray introduction from this older volume but this older volume doesn't have the additional two stories that were added to this collection we still get the same about the author uh, article so that's nicely included as well so i still think this is a great value and something that i think will be enticing to any fans of norvell page or any fans of the spider or someone just looking for some fun action-packed western pulp stories and you can get this for just really a couple dollars it's sold by black dog books through amazon.com and is very very inexpensive it does dip below ten dollars at times so you can usually get it for a couple bucks or you can get it for an even cheaper ebook version but again it's a nicely done volume. I just wish it had the illustrations and introduction and bibliography from the earlier version. So I'm actually glad that that I have both because at first I had this and then I found out there was this more modern one that had more stories. And I'm like, well, why did I buy this? And then I, I noticed that this did not have the the basically the extras that this version does so i'll definitely be keeping both so overall i just found these really fascinating to read i've i've only read select western stories over my lifetime it's not been an area of, of fiction i've i've delved much into but now i really want to now that i've read a, a a number of western stories and western pulp stories but i just found this really fascinating because i've been getting more and more into pages spider novels and being fascinated with with uh, his his approach to that character and the sheer intensity of of his action storytelling and i do think you can draw a parallel to these earlier western stories and start to at least see some of that coming into play in these and also noting that these are very early in his writing career so I, I think knowing that he was not really knowledgeable about Westerns does does sort of explain why he only did a few and why they're very obscure. So it's really nice they've been collected here by Black Dog Books. And if you're a Page or Spider fan, these are an absolute must. And the Trail of the Snake collection gives you all of Page's uh, Western tales known to exist in a really nicely done paperback that's very inexpensive. So as always, I hope my babblings about uh, pulp stories, pulp pulp writers and pulp reprints has been at least somewhat fun and informative. Uh, as always, please do keep supporting both independent bookstores and independent publishers wherever possible by buying directly from them where you can. Uh, and as always, keep reading, keep reading print books, and thank you ever so much for watching.